What is going on guys, JR here for more power tuning. We've updated the gauge configuration for N-Gage programmers to include some new parameters that we'd like to see, some transmission stuff, torque converter, and octane adjust ratio. But you have to be running at least firmware 285 for it to work. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to update the firmware and grab that new gauge configuration file from us. All right guys. So go to our website, morepowertuning.com. Right here, big letters, tech support. If you click that, a little drop down menu, and you'll see HP Tuners Engage Tech Support as the first option. So if you click on that, this page has a few different, uh, very useful things for the Engage. You, sh you should check this out if you haven't already. Over here to the right, latest firmware, currently 285. If you're not sure, what firmware version your device is currently running. It's real simple, just gonna need to power it up. It's going to display the current firmware at the bottom of the screen when it boots up. I've got a USB cable here, I'm gonna hook up to the front of the device. And you see right there at the bottom, this one's running firmware 282. So almost, but not quite. Over here where it says latest firmware file, 285 in this case, I'm gonna right click and save link as. This is gonna ask where you wanna save the file to. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. Now it's saving it as a compressed zip folder. Now I'm using Chrome here, so I say here at the bottom, if I click on that, it's gonna open that zip folder and there's the firmware right there. A couple ways to access the contents of the SD card here on your end gauge. If you're using the USB cable, you would go to diagnostics and then select USB SD. And there you heard that, it's showing that uh, we've connected a new device and we can see the contents of that SD card here in a new window. Alternatively, if you don't have a USB cable, what you could also do is pop the SD card and slide that into the included micro SD card adapter and you'll be right here at the same spot. I'm just gonna slide that window over to the side a little bit, grab that new firmware file, and just like that, just drag and drop that to the SD card. Super easy, guys. So you want to avoid creating any new folders on your N-Gage. You just wanna drag that new firmware file onto the root of the N-Gage. Don't put it in any of the existing folders. Don't create any new folders. You also want to avoid removing the previous firmware file. Otherwise, you might run into some issues. While we're here, let's go back to this window showing our website. Under that same section, we get the log slash gauge configuration file. Just grab the one for your vehicle. So today we're gonna to pretend I'm driving a 2018 Raptor and I'm gonna grab the file. I'm gonna right click, save link as, and it's gonna save another zip folder. That one's a bit faster. I'm gonna tap on that to open that folder. And there it is, gauges dash some alphanumeric sequence dot ng. I'm gonna move that over to the side and bring up the window for the end gauge and just the same thing, just gonna drag and drop that to the root of the folder. If you already have a previous version of this configuration file with the same file name already on your end gauge, you'll get a message like this asking if you wanna replace the file in the destination. Yes, you wanna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click over here, safely remove hardware and eject media, and select the end gauge. There we go. On the end gauge itself, I'm gonna tap that X, brings it back to the main menu. And from here, to update the firmware, it's real simple. Diagnostics, settings, then you scroll down a little bit, update from SD. It's gonna search the SD card for updates. It's gonna take just a moment here. Now it's telling us found updates for more 285, install them. Hit the little check mark there. It's gonna let you know that the device needs to be plugged in for power. It's gonna reboot when it's done. Just hit okay on that. And then just like that, it'll take a couple seconds, let it reboot. And there you'll see at the very bottom of the screen, current firmware FW version 285, and that's it. You don't have to do anything extra for the new gauge configuration. That file is tied to processor code for your vehicle, so it's gonna automatically detect when you hit gauges on your end gauge. It's going to open up the correct gauge configuration for the vehicle that it's connected to. And that's it, guys. It's really that simple. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Comment below, email us, call us. Website is morepowertuning.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.